Hi, welcome to Tradutex Portuguese Lessons. Today we are going to learn the greetings in Portuguese. Cumprimentos. So let's learn the basic words to say hello. Hello is hola. Two open vowels. It's not hard at all. Just repeat with me. Hola. Hola. So you see, it's easy. Hola. And if you want to say good morning, we should use the expression bon dia. Bon dia. So we are not saying good morning literally. We're saying good day. But this is the expression we use in the morning. So let's repeat and let's pay attention to some pronunciation tips. When we say bon, which means good, we don't actually close our lips at the end of the word to do it a M sound. The M is there just to make the previous vowel nasal. So don't close your mouth pronouncing this word. Bon dia. Bon dia. So this means a good day, but it's the one we use in the morning. Then, after 12 o'clock, or in a way after lunch, we start saying this other one. Boa tarde. Boa tarde means good afternoon. Tarde, it's the word for afternoon. So here we don't say bom, we're saying boa. I will explain you in a minute. Boa tarde. That last E of the word tarde, you can drop it or pronounce it in such a very soft way that it's much better just to drop it. Makes things much easier. So, boa tarde, boa tarde. And then... When it becomes dark, we don't have a way to say good evening and good night. We only have an expression. If it's dark outside, for us is already noit. Noit, it's our word to say night. But we can use this expression, boa noit, for both to say hello, olá, boa noit, but even we also use the same to say goodbye. We say ciao, boa noit. So the expression is good in either ways. Boa noite. Again, we can drop that last E at the end of noite or pronounce it in a very soft way. Or we say boa noite or we completely drop it. Boa noite. But now I wonder if you realize why do we say bon for bon dia but then we change into boa for both boa tarde and boa noite. So the reason is, for the adjective good in English, we do have two different translations. Actually, we have four, because we also have plural forms. But at this moment, just let's just have a look. Let's just focus on the ones that we've been using. Bon, it's our way to say good if the following word is masculine and singular masculino e singular and actually the word dia although it ends with an a because in portuguese portuguese in a general way if a word ends with an a it's a feminine word but we have some exceptions and dia it's one of those exceptions we say o dia which literally means the day and because dia it's masculine and singular masculino singular, we have to use bom, bom dia. But then, both tarde and noite are feminine words. That's why we change into boa. Boa, it's the feminine version of the adjective good if the following word is also feminine and singular, feminino e singular. And It's true, both tarde and noite, the afternoon is a tarde, and the evening or the night is a noite, they're both feminino, singular. So now that you understand why do we say bom and then we change into boa, now that you understand the meaning of the words dia, tarde and noite, and you know exactly when to use it, Let's just repeat to practice the pronunciation. So we can say 
Olá, bom dia. Do you want to repeat with me? Olá, bom dia. Then we say, after lunchtime, we say, Olá, boa tarde. Olá, boa tarde. And finally, if it's dark, if it's night, usually after 8 p.m. we start saying that. Could be a bit earlier in the winter, like after 7 p.m., but in a way it should be dark. We say, Olá, boa noite. Olá, boa noite. Obrigada. Thanks for watching.